Hi, Joel Munch here, standing outside my house in the back. Have the electrical box open, which means something's not working right. Last night around 11 o'clock, got a notice from the Nest. Air 74 RH wasn't delivering power to the Nest. So something went out with the heat. Fortunately, we have upstairs heat and downstairs heat, two separate HVAC systems and just had to crank up the downstairs one a little bit more to get through last night. But now I'm going through troubleshooting, trying to figure out why is the furnace and HVAC system upstairs not working. So first thing to do um, is I'm gonna turn off the circuit breaker here to the furnace, and then I'm gonna go up into the attic and take a look do a visual inspection, see if I can figure out what may have gone wrong and continue down the process. So here we are at the electrical panel outside. There are two circuit breakers I'm gonna turn off. First one is for the AC unit for the upstairs HVAC system and it's here, turn that off. The second circuit breaker is for the furnace and that's up here and I'm gonna turn that off, okay. So we should be all set. No power to the HVA system upstairs. Let's go take a look, see what we can find out. All right, now before I get started, let me talk about what I brought with me. Just a few basic tools. First off, common and Phillips head screwdriver. Gonna need those probably. And my favorite tool when I'm doing anything with electrical, AC voltage detector. This is the one tool that anytime I'm doing anything, whether it's replacing a switch, installing the Nest thermostat, or trying to figure out why we lost heat last night, I bring this with me. This would usually tell me where the problem is in a lot of cases. It'll also tell me if I flipped the right circuit breaker. A lot of things can go wrong when you don't do that. So I always bring this with me. Again, I, I trust my mapping of all the circuits, but better be safe than sorry. So now I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna turn on my AC voltage detector, move it to the top, nothing. That's exactly what I wanna see. So nothing flowing through the switch. Of course, nothing going down to the bottom either because there's no power. It's just me, but I always flip off the switch because that's the sequence I go through. So I'm still gonna turn the power off to the furnace right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open everything up and take a look around, see if I see anything obvious, uh, blown fuse or something like that. So here we are at the access panels to the furnace. I'm gonna first remove the, the top panel, it just pops off. I'll set that one down. And then I'm gonna remove the bottom panel where all the wiring is. It slides up and out. All right. Now, the wires right here are the ones that are actually going to the thermostat. So you can see the red, which is the RH. So that's not working currently. Not getting power to the thermostat. But I am gonna take a look in here. And what I'm looking for is a fuse down here on the bottom, just to see if something happened. So I'm gonna pop this off, just a little three amp fuse. Take a look at it, still looks good. So that wasn't it. That would have been simple if it was. And put that back on gently. And then I'm just gonna inspect it. Look and see if there's anything that came loose from vibration. Um, these are all the sensors. You have sensors throughout the system. Um, to make sure there's no leaks, no other things that could go wrong. I'm gonna also look back up here, see if there's anything that doesn't look quite right. Um, nothing that I can see. And everything looks all right. So at this point in time, don't know why it won't turn on. So I'm gonna do a few more tests with it and see what's going on. So. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottom panel back on, go downstairs, turn power on. I'm gonna leave the switch off up here. Then I'm gonna come up here 
and take you through a few more tasks. Back outside, gonna go ahead and turn on power to the furnace right here and turn on power to the AC. Everything's on, heading back upstairs to the attic. Back up in the attic, standing next to the furnace, switch is off. Gonna check, make sure that power's coming to the furnace all right. I turn that on at the circuit breaker. Yep, circuit's good there. And it's, yep, still off there, which it should be because the switch is off right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the switch make sure I have power flowing through. Again, once I complete the circuit, then I should be able to detect the AC power up here and detect it down, oh, no AC power. All right, well, this might be a simpler problem than I thought. Hopefully the furnace doesn't have a problem. It might just be this switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back downstairs outside, flip the circuit breakers one more time again, to completely disconnect power to this box. All right, flip the circuit breakers downstairs. Now I'm gonna just check one more time before I disassemble this. All right, good. Have the switch cover off and the screws out, pulling the switch in the box. And I'm gonna take a look, see if I can figure out what's going on. And, oh, that slid right out of there. Okay, um, I think I may have heard something fall when I pulled that. Looks like the switch is actually broken. So this is the other wire. Normally this would sit right in here, um, making contact. And there would be, it would look basically the same as the other side. But obviously the switch is, um, the plastic's fatigued being up here and just the pressure is a little bit spring-loaded just the pressure was enough to eventually crack and break so need to replace this switch and then that should be it so here's my old switch just a basic 15 amp 120 volt I'm gonna replace with that one aside and here's my New replacement switch, again, for the control panel for the HVAC, just your basic 15 amp, 120 volt switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this and test everything out and turn it back on. Back up in the attic. I'm getting a little bit of a workout today. I'm gonna do what I always do, just turn on power from the panel. Gonna go ahead and check the AC voltage, make sure there's power coming into the switch, make sure the switch isn't shorting across, delivering power through, make sure off really means off. So let's do that first. So got my power coming in, come down to the bottom, no power coming out, good sign. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, ready to test everything out. Turn it on, check one more time, power coming in, there are no shorts causing anything to trip at the circuit breaker and power coming out. So I'm feeling pretty good today. Hopefully this is the only problem. It was just a switch. Again, been in the house. That switch has been there for over 20 years. Been here almost that long and not surprising that it broke. So now I'm gonna test out the furnace, jump into the Nest app save a trip down the, down the ladder and turn this on and make sure everything works. Furnace just turned on, lower motor. Right now the igniter should be heating up and if all goes well, we'll see flame Oh, there it goes. You can see the igniter glowing. So, gas turns on, flame, and while I have the panel off, I'll go ahead and just do some minor inspection, make sure that there's no blowback, anything else strange occurring. Um, motor sounds good, do a few more things, but 
on all. Changing out the switch is all it took. Pretty happy with today's repair. Well, that's it. Got a functioning furnace, HVAC system again. Pretty happy. What started out at 11 o'clock last night as a little bit of a worry about having some major repair turned out to be nothing more than the electrical switch at the furnace. Hope you and your family are doing well. Take care.